Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my first software engineering resume and tell you exactly why I think it was bad. Please stay tuned. Here it is. Well, first of all, this is my first resume that I got my first software engineering internship with and I ended up working at Yelp here in San Francisco. Let's take a closer look at it. Something that jumps out to me right away is that the resume is way too long. It's two pages. The usual rule is that for every 10 years of experience, you add a page of a resume. So guys, in most cases, one page, cut it up, cut it off, it's enough. Another stylistical thing is that the resume should be really concise, compact, and professional. You need to keep in mind that in most of companies, especially if it's a really big tech company, recruiters get thousands of resumes and they only have about five seconds max to look at your resume. So you need to put the relevant information to your job up top and you need to make sure that you really showcase what you have done, what you have worked on and it jumps out. If you look at my resume, and you look at the top, I dedicated a lot of space to the section on my content information and my name. That is completely unnecessary and I wouldn't do it again. If you were to try to keep your resume to one page, you again need to make sure that everything is compact and this is just a waste of space. Let's now look at specific sections of my resume. So I mentioned already that you need to showcase relevant to the job that you're applying for experience. So that's why I put my work experience, my personal projects at the top because that was the most relevant thing to the jobs that I was applying for. No one cares about your education in most cases. Everyone wants to see what have you done that is similar to the work that you might be doing at the company that you're applying for. So work experience, let's look at mine. Android developer at Soundcake. Soundcake actually wasn't a real startup. It was just a couple of students at the German university I was at trying to make an app and I was helping them out. But because startups are hot right now and they kind of wanted to start a startup with this product at some point of their journey, I put it down as a startup so that it looks more legit. But I actually did help them out. Second up, I have software developer intern at European Games Group. That was a legit company. However, it was a game publishing company. And that was that part-time internship that the founder of this company gave me because he was so impressed with my desire to learn how to code. I was the only programmer in this company and it was really just an opportunity to go into an office and build the Django app that they asked me to build and really push myself to learn. So that was legit. And then last and but not least, I have my chemical engineering internship because I did study chemical engineering and that's what I did my internships prior to applying for real software engineering internship. Next up, I have my personal project section. So I also put it at the top because that was really relevant to the job that I was applying for. So for my personal project, the one that I spent the most time on was Wake Me Up, which was an Android application, an alarm clock that you could send a picture, a voice message uh, to so that you can surprise your friend in the morning. Section on skills. To be honest, I don't have an exact answer whether this section is necessary or not. Looking at mine, I put it in because there were a lot of buzzwords that can tell the recruiters that I'm competent and know what I'm doing. So my advice would be, if you have space on your resume, put it in. If you don't, maybe fit it in in a wine liner, but I wouldn't stress out about not having this section on your resume. Education. Again, general advice, do not put it at the top unless it's really relevant to your work experience. I listed everything that was related to computer science in my education section. So again, I listed the Code Academy and Coursera courses that I took because again, officially I didn't have a computer science or software engineering degree. And I listed computer science under my exchange program because I did take extra computer science classes at my exchange university. 
Scrolling through the second page of my resume, I would say that most of this information on the second page is really irrelevant and really unnecessary and honestly just occupies space. So we have startup experience. I really wanted to showcase that I was a part of the startup community and I know about it. Then we have volunteering. Honestly, no one really cares about it in this context. Then we have awards. Some awards that I listed were back from high school. Again, anything related to high school is in most of the cases completely irrelevant. And last but not least, I have my personal interest to show that that I also am interested in stuff outside of just coding and working and whatnot. Also, really, in most cases, unnecessary. So this was my resume, guys. This was my first resume that I got my real software engineering internship with. I hope you enjoyed this video and will give it a like and subscribe. Click the notification button so you know when my videos come out. And thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you have an amazing week. Have a great rest of the day. Bye for now.